So as you can see, uh, in a receive tab, April 23rd, and we have received 1.82721 ETH, uh, which is exactly if we click outside this particular number, 1.82721. जोर विचार करवान उन्हें मौज मारे वान हूँ मौज बा मौज बा मौज बा So the first step is uh, you log into your Coin D6 account. You go to funds. You go to portfolio, and right over here you will be able to see all the coins where you have invested. So I've invested in all these coins. Uh, Ethereum is right over here. Obviously, it would be asterisk asterisk. Uh, you have to click on show if you want to see all the coin values, uh, which I don't want to right now. <laughs> Uh, so once you uh, uh, are here on this page, all you have to do is click on withdraw. So once you click on withdraw, you will be able to see your funds overview. So obviously, uh, I have not blurred this amount because I uh, wanted you to see uh, this actual amount and the difference it causes. So uh, I'm totally okay to reveal the number over here on this page. So as of now, what I'm going to withdraw is so total as of now, while I'm doing this particular video, I have 1.8. Um, ETH uh, inside my wallet and that's a huge amount uh, right now so uh, the fees is 0 0.006 ETH uh, so what I'll do is now I'll click on MetaMask Chrome extension and right over here obviously you will see blurred options over here uh, I already have a couple of ETH inside this MetaMask wallet uh, all I'll do is I'll click this uh, address on my clipboard so I'll copy to clipboard I'll go outside and I'll paste that address. Then what I'll do is uh, the number of ETH which you want to withdraw or transfer to your wallet. You just have to enter that out of the available ETH which you have. Uh, now I want to withdraw everything right now uh, because it's one and the same. Uh, it's better to keep in your wallet. So I'll just click on available this. So the entire amount is right over here. I'll enter my withdrawal password. And once I've entered the password, uh, I'll be able to see and you'll also be able to see based on your amount uh, you get 1.82721 ETH uh, which is close to this much INR amount uh, and the fee is 0 0.006 ETH so that's the amount which is deducted from this amount all right once I click on send I would be getting an uh, OTO number uh, OTP number sorry OTP number on my mobile number I'll have to include that uh, I'll also get an email to verify my withdrawal. Once I click on that button, uh, it would be transferred. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Obviously, the OTP and verification process is something which I will not reveal. Uh, but once I clear those two steps, those two steps are something which I'll uh, get once I click on send. Once that is done, instantly uh, I will be able to see the reflected amount in my MetaMask. So let me just click on send. All right, so once you enter the OTP, it would say request initiated. Your withdrawal request has been initiated. Uh, please check your email and confirm. And now to check whether the uh, fund is done or not, because in order, if you go to order history, uh, it might not show over here in filled orders or open orders or anything over here. I don't know. That is a kind of a small little maybe a bug uh, in the short term, but it, I'm sure it would be rectified by the time you're uh, watching this episode or something like that inside Coin DCX. I love this platform, by the way. Uh, so uh, to verify what I generally do in real time is I click on MetaMask and I click on this uh, horizontal bar over here and I click on view on Ether scan. And right over here, what I am able to see is this pending option. So one minute ago. I had done this transfer of 1.82721 ether and it is still pending. You can just come back over here after a couple of minutes or maybe it might take hour depending upon the traffic on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, but yeah, it is in progress and it should be done. So let me just refresh once and see or maybe I'll just wait for a couple of minutes and I'll show you what happens. Uh, you will be able to see the number of uh, minutes as well or maybe hours. <laughs> so I'll just uh, show that. I'll pause the video and I'll come back once it is done. All right, so as you can see, I've just refreshed. It's six minutes. It's still six minutes, uh, but it's still pending. So I'll just once again pause and come back once it is done. <laughs> it's one hour, 15 minutes, and it's still pending. So just wanted to update uh, that it is still not uh, done. And uh, I'll pause once again, and I'll come back if it is done, or maybe I'll just update you. Uh, it is done. You can see uh, the thing is being transferred. Uh, gas price okay fine I won't go into details but the transfer is now complete all right 
I'll also show you in the MetaMask. Uh, so let me just uh, click on MetaMask right now. And obviously you won't be able to see anything. Uh, the numbers have been updated, but what I can show you is the transaction or the activity which has just recently updated. So we had sent 1.8 uh, something ETH, ETH over here. So let me just click on this activity tab and you'll be able to see that. So as you can see uh, in the receive tab, April 23rd, and we have received 1.82721 ETH uh, which is exactly if we click outside this particular number 1.82721 so it is successfully completed now and now you might be wondering that it is eight minutes ago so when how much actual time did it took all right uh, so for that if you want to know that we can actually click on this uh, transaction hash so let's say if I click on this you'll be able to see uh, that it was uh, completed 10 minutes ago now and it was confirmed within one hour and 52 minutes and 15 seconds. So this is the amount which it took. Now, this is what you have to understand. Uh, I also paid a gas price of 96 uh, GWEI, uh, which is something I, I won't go detailed into. It's just the short form for the transaction fee which you pay. So I have paid 4.47. Now you can accelerate the gas uh, uh, you can accelerate the uh, process by paying more gas fee, but I was not in a hurry. So I just paid the normal regular average low fee of $4.47. Probably if I would have paid 10 to 20 more dollars uh, and accelerated the process, then it might have done within 30 seconds instead of one hour and 52 minutes. So at times if you are in rush, if you know that this is the moment where you have to strike, uh, you can just increase the gas fee, you can pay a couple of more dollars and you can get it done. Or else if you are in not rush, if you are in no rush, then definitely you can just wait for a couple of hours, even if it is 12 hours, who cares, right? Uh, because once the transaction was made, it was made at, a cup, uh, at the particular uh, ether value. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's something which uh, I wanted to show you and uh, yeah, that's that's all we have so hope you love this video hope you found this valuable let me know uh, if there is any comment section around this episode i don't know where i would be posting this uh, maybe on youtube maybe in the private community maybe anywhere for a, a group coaching segment uh, i don't know uh, i'm planning as i'm recording this now i'm getting new ideas uh, prior to me starting this uh, recording i just wanted to document uh, the entire process so that people can get value out of it if i'm posting somewhere but now i'm thinking of something else as well so maybe wherever you are watching, if you have a comment section, let me know if this was valuable or not. And let me know if you are having any challenges. I'll try my level best uh, to bring some value over here. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Take care and uh, see you around. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And stay awesome. God bless and keep smiling.